Tom, can you come here for one second? Yes, Giselle. Tom, about having Antonio stay in our house. I don't feel as comfortable about it today as I did yesterday. <laughs> right? Like, I get that Tom Brady has a moat around his house. He got a moat around his house. I get it. And there's probably so many bedrooms. There's rooms in his house I'm guessing he hasn't been in. What's this room called? Like, uh, we don't even know. I don't, I've never been here before. I have no idea. So I'm guessing they can stash Antonio Brown. But the idea that a guy is accused of, well, what he's been accused of. And Giselle's like, oh, come stay with my family and we'll cook for you and stay at my house. And yeah, I don't know. Tony, I don't know how to say this, but uh, maybe you want to get an apartment like right next to the facility. Ooh. Talk about uncomfortable. There's your uncomfortable conversation of the day. So, Antonio, yeah, about this um, staying at my house thing. Look, there are things you can set your watch to, it appears. Sunrise in the east sets in the west. And there's going to be a story about Antonio Brown, and it's not going to be a good one. Doesn't it? And if you think the New England Patriots for one second knew that this would, was, was coming down the pike, why they trade Demarius Thomas away. Like if you thought, because there's a chance, I don't think it's a strong possibility. There's a a possibility at least that Antonio Brown gets put on the commissioner's exemption list. And I don't know. I'm like, look, if you trade away, if you trade away Demarius Thomas to the New York Jets who are in your division, you're pretty much saying like, have them. All right. We're going to play against you twice. We don't care. You know? I mean, look, he's probably taking pictures of all of our plays on the way out the door. We still don't care. He's still not that good. Like they're saying Demarius Thomas is washed up. On the other hand, like being so callous as to cut him and offer Antonio uh, Brown $9 million in guarantees and a chance at a $20 million guarantee deal next year. No chance they had any idea. Zero. And here's where people will get screwed up in it. Here's where people will get screwed up in it. You're like, well, what if it's not true? Look, I think it's terrible if it's not true. I I don't know what's worse, that men do that to women or that there are women who have made that up. Probably the first, but making it up is equally bad because it diminishes any woman that does come forward that is truly assaulted, right? Right. So I don't know what's true and what's not true. I'm going to tell you this, and you might not want to hear it, but it actually doesn't matter if it's true on some level. Like, look, if it's true, obviously, you can't play football ever again. Goodbye. But it doesn't matter in that Pittsburgh got ready. You go to Oakland. They cut you. The Patriots, like, all they they don't necessarily want to be liked. Like, they're not in this thing to be liked, but they are in this thing to be respected. They did employ Aaron Hernandez, right, who, though he was found to be not guilty of it, feels like he might have murdered two people a year before he did, in fact, murder somebody. They just couldn't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Feels like, feels like it if he followed that trial. But um, they want to be respected. They want to run a reputable organization. Like, look, they're they're still putting out fires from what their owner did in the old uh, getting a rub down before the AFC Championship game, right? Like, they they don't they don't want bad PR, and they already have a good team. They don't need Antonio Brown. Like, he is icing on top of the cake. He is. There is a lot of Randy Moss. Hey, it's a bad situation. He's trying to get out. But to not tell them creates a complete lack of trust. And any of us who have ever lied in any sort of relationship, I can tell you I have, trust is a really hard thing to rebuild. Whew, hard. And when you have no equity, right? It's like one thing if you make a mistake 10 years, 20 years in a relationship. It's another thing if 
you've been in a relationship for five minutes and there's already trust broken because you didn't tell us that this is a possibility? Tom Brady gets caught lying or Tom Brady does something wrong to somebody or accused of doing something and it comes out and looks bad. He doesn't say something to his employer. Okay. Okay. Tom Brady's got 18, 19 years of history to go like, look, he's done the right thing. He's Tom Brady. Antonio Brown has zero equity, zero sweat equity with the New England Patriots. And a long list of reasons for how he ended up with the New England Patriots. This is the end of the road. This is it. Take a listen to Bill Bill Belichick when asked about it earlier today. On Antonio's situation, uh, both Antonio and his uh, representatives have uh, made statements. And so um, I'm not going to be expanding on any of those. Uh, They are what they are. We've looked into the situation. We're taking it very seriously. I'm not going to be entering into a discussion about that today. Can you tell us at all what Antonio Brown has said to you? I mean, I'm done with that, okay? Can you explain what you mean when you're done with it? I mean, we're just trying to find out if he said anything to you about his position and about the allegation. Yeah, and I just answered that question. Well, actually, you did. Actually, I did. Yeah, I, I actually think he did. My comment is no comment because somebody else who knows more and is more equipped has already commented on. They're looking into it. They're taking it seriously. I actually think Bel- Belichick did exactly what you're... That's PR 101. But the idea that they knew this. Now, the only possible saving grace for Antonio Brown is if Drew Rosenhaus falls on the... You know, puts his body on the grenade and says, Antonio wanted to tell you, but I decided not to. You know? I, I decided... It was my call, and I decided not to. I just thought it was so frivolous... There was no possibility of it coming out because no one would believe it when the facts were ultimately revealed. So I don't know what's what with Antonio Brown. I do know that any trust that was 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 built early on and and the idea of a he just wanted out of Oakland and this was just a bad situation and now he's in a winning culture and he'll he'll buy in and he's living with Tom Brady. How'd you like to be Giselle today and come home? Yeah, don't know if I'm that comfortable with him hanging at the house. Hey, why don't you come over to TB12 and... Never mind, may not want you to train with my trainers. We've had exactly zero days since our last Antonio Brown incident. Right? Just what it feels like. It, it it feels like a construction site where something has always gone wrong. Right? Antonio, that's what it, Antonio Brown feels. He feels like the, the Maserati, which I think the new Maseratis are made better. Is there any better sound to a man? Well, there's some better sounds to men. Any better um, machine sound to a man than the Maserati when it's first revved up? Have you guys ever heard of, you guys heard of Maserati? Music. Have you ever heard of Maserati when it's it's it's, it's humming, it's purring? I mean, maybe just driving down the street, but I'm not. I, I don't own a Maserati. I don't. You know, I'm just telling you. Like, <laughs> if, you ever, if you've ever heard one, you're like, that's amazing. But when it's a Maserati, or people say it's about a Jaguar, like it ends up in the shop all the time. Like, there's just something all the time. It's really kind of remarkable. They have something in California. There's some bizarre laws in California, but there's actually something called a lemon law in California, where if your car, while you own it during the first couple of years, goes in the shop enough times, they have to take back the car and either give you a new one or completely refund your money. It's called a lemon law. Kind of feel like the Patriots might be looking at that lemon law. Is there a lemon law thing here? I mean... Who looks better today, Pittsburgh or Oakland for getting off of this train? And it's kind of amazing. The Patriots who have tried so hard, hey, you know, we'll take some tough guys. Well, they, they could not be happy today 
not because it means that it's true. Just the timing of it, not telling us about it. If Bill Belichick knew of these allegations, if the Patriots knew of the allegations before they signed him, they would have said as much today or in their own statements. They did not. And that shows you the state of their current relationship. Hi, I'm Doug Godley from uh, Fox Sports Radio, and you need to subscribe to the Fox Sports Radio YouTube channel where you can hear and see me. Why not? Plus, everybody else who's awesome here in Fox Sports Radio.